for a scrub like Dylan. <laughs> I don't know. Damn. Yeah, sometimes they just want to try it out regardless. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that, but if he, he's probably played a lot more sets against Dylan. And so he's like, oh, I just want to just want to try this so I can, you know, maybe eventually beat you. I don't know. Maybe. Because, like, I don't really get that much Falco practice anymore. Everyone doesn't play. Everyone stops playing Falco against me. <laughs> I mean, every Falco... I've never seen you struggle against Falco before. <laughs> I struggle against Falco. It's just I'm I'm just strong in the matchup. I'm not necessarily a god anymore. I used to be really good at it. Looks like I used to get it a lot because uh, I have to get to play against uh, Axis Falco a lot, and I was just always always really prepared for it. But like now, it's just like it's like years since I really played Falco. Everyone just kind of abandons <laughs> abandons playing. I guess I guess if I'm in the zone, then I guess I can feel like it's hopeless. <laughs> so if I'm if I'm on, then it's over. Yeah. <laughs> Playing against you felt hopeless. <laughs> I think the first set we played, you double four stalked me in like two minutes. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> good, good, good to hear. I did I did get to go back and watch and see where I was blatantly screwing up though. That's good. I never speak a lot of my side B's and I never up beat. He was down tilted eight times and the set was over. Tight. That's how it should be. That's how it's supposed to be. You gotta eat the booty like groceries. <laughs> and... Oh, he didn't run off and just kill him. He should have just ran off and killed him. Oh, he doesn't... Hey! Still not dead, though. Yeah. Talking gets to go high. Oh, the fade away. <laughs> Soft knee? Well, I guess he could take it. <laughs> oh, oh no, he just whiffed it, and now he has a chance for a reversal. Uh. Oh, I hope he doesn't get punished for that. Oh, mm -hmm. poor smash. Yeah, he gets cornered. Yeah, Dylan really seems to struggle in the corner. Vitro's gotten much, much better at, uh, at uh, keeping people there. Make it almost even. Yeah, it's basically even. That's not even. Unless he gets Falcon. Grabbed. Falcon, as long as he's not making critical errors, is supposed to kind of get beat up. Anyway, get nickel and dime by Marth. And then he just gets one one big opener. Like so. <laughs> yeah. Up there. One. Up there. Wheel. Oh, no, he stopped the Wheel of Fortune. Unfortunately, the Vitro didn't make the Ooh, there. he caught him mid. Oh. Is he gonna deep? Oh, he goes deep and cocks it up again. He has not hit that at all today. Good roll in now. Dodge the punish. One more time. Oh, and then one time that he probably could. And he goes for another wake up, uh, like a uh, ledge attack instead of uh, instead of a long roll. And Vitro doing a really good job of stuffing all uh, ledge, ledge invincible resets. Dylan still has Martha and Martharitis. All he has to do is touch the ground, and he stands a chance. Oh, he had di, he had the shield di in. He could have, he could have, he could have grabbed him. Oh yeah, that's, that's not going. Yeah, he wasn't gonna make it, and his legs came up anyway. Just need that one opening though. Yep. Oh no! Oh, he, no. And he messed. And he messed it up, and then he drops the game because he keeps going a little too deep and just mistiming everything. So sad. He even got the tech, and it didn't matter. Oh, yeah, no jump. He used his, burned his jump when he realized how far he was. Like, I don't know what he was going for there. Like, it seemed like he was second-guessing whether he should he wanted to go for a knee or for, for, or for up air, where I think up air was the better choice because he was at low percent. He could have gotten... But potential, a potential you know, wheel of fortune. That's a chain. Oh, here he goes. Ooh. We living. Almost got the chain up bears. Oh. Wheel of fortune. In case you weren't, you know, able to put that together. <laughs> All, you know, seven of you guys watching. Big audience. Dedicated audience. Dedicated. Purified. That's all I would say about melee. Melee was purified after brawl. The only people plan, people that care, people that love it. That is true. Ooh. 
satisfying me. Yeah, it was good for good for Dylan. So we're about even again. Um, but this is a good percentage for Marth. Um, the 16, you kind of get um, certain things with up throw kind of unlocked depending on DI. Um, your up tilts become a lot more effective, so you can get chain, chain more chain hits. Temper forward airs, uh, counter hits are also a lot more effective. Uh, your four throws become stronger. Four throw down tilt. A lot of things start to op start opening up once you get past that like initial zero percent pump. So right now, if get, uh, the higher Falcon gets, like the worse it gets, because then like those random up airs that you do no longer combo the way that you want. They don't set you up for forward smashes for edge guards as easily. Killing Falcon on the stage, I'm guessing pretty difficult. I don't really play either of these characters. Yeah, uh, it it can be. Um, the problem is like Falcon. Yeah, Falcon gets to run. Another another blunder on these edge guards. He show just keeps blowing that up. Um, yeah, Falcon gets to run, which is a big thing. So like when he has all that stage there, instead of just kind of doing that one dash dance break and then going for that neutral air, um, Falcons whether you're better or worse, like a Falcon, what you should have done there is do multiple um, approaching 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 that range. Uh, just outside of where you can do forward air checks, forward tilt checks, uh, jab checks. Um, make, keep them guessing. Don't don't have a, um, an easy to uh, find rhythm. The more you distort your rhythm from your approach, uh, the more that you can encroach more space, and that's where you're going to start getting openers. And that's Dreamland just kind of accentuates that when you have Marth in the corner. Which is why it's good. And on top of uh, him being able to just hold up against both the Mar Mar stuff and survive, that's also the big thing. Seems like he might be doing a better job of that now. He's getting way more openings since he started saying that. Yeah, hit him with a little baby wheel. Oh, decides to just grab him again. Oh, nice hack stash. Down throw. Oh, had a knee. That a knee would have been better there with the DIN. Because you can just react to that. Oh, safe, though. I thought he went a little too far, but he got a good ledge cancel. Yeah, shield stops. Yeah, good shield stops. Uh, another knee opportunity. Could have cleaned that stock up. When he's the Mars DI up and in for down throw, that's just straight up knee. It's, that's why you want to mix up your down throw and, and up throw. Because um, at like that 70% range, um, you get a guaranteed knee um, with up throw against Mars DI. But a 69 on the board for Dylan. Not looking good for Vitro. Uh, probably going to be 1-1 one, one, unless... unless uh, Dylan really cocks it up. Avoids that edge guard with the ease because of the 69. And 69 might, I'm not sure how much might have been burned because uh, Dylan's been getting hit by that most of the time. So it's possible that the 69 may be out of juice. But we can say that's Ooh, curtains. I like and that. I think he still has a deal. Yeah, nope. There we go. And so yeah, 69 once again, given, breathing some life into Dylan uh, in this run back. And so we're 1-1. One, one. Yeah. We're one one, and that was a three stock comeback. Wasn't uh, it? yeah, baby three stock. Yeah, because uh, Marth was that high, and he killed him off uh, with really quickly. I think. Um, Definitely a good comeback from Dylan. Yeah, so that's probably gonna be feel good. Um, we're on Yoshi's, which once again, not not super bad. Uh, it just it just kind of depends on how you play it. Like this this stage is, is double edged. Yeah, there's always a chance that you just die. Yeah, you could just get hit with knee, and you could just die at 60. <laughs> seconds in, you're wondering where your fourth stock went. Oh no, a little bit too early with that down air, and also a little bit misspaced. Fade back to dodge that fair. Yeah, yeah. Vitro's uh, likes to definitely go for those awkward back air, uh, where it's like, well, you could hit me with that, but like, I could, I could potentially like retaliate, and so you kind of don't expect it. Um, and he, he kind of let him get away. Oh no, that wall jump was... It's trying to be a little tricky because I think he thought Vitro was going to step forward. And uh, Vitro did not. <laughs> and so he died. I think if he actually didn't do that, the result would have been the same. I think he still would have died. He was just trying to find some way to mix it up. Ooh, back air. I don't think that was a true combo, but it was like, you know, it's a good pseudo combo. Because the only thing he could have done was try to break tumble and air dodge, which might have been still been too slow. Uh, might have been a match for forward air, but it's hard to say, and that's really risky when you're in that situation. Ooh, jabs. Mm, nice. Perfect short hop to get over that wake up. It's one of my favorite things. It's punishing wake ups uh, with tricky, tricky aerials. 
where you like you do the aerial and it moves your body just out of the way so that you can punch it. Oh no, the roll away ends up putting him right at tipper range. Didn't want to come inside because uh, he thought Vitro might have been looking for it. Oh no, doesn't quite get the good spacing on the neutral air. Or it might have been too slow falling in. I'm not sure. Unless it rock an AZ. Oh no, shield break. Oh no, hey, nice neutral air and then nice calls. Is this gonna Vitro, be he got, yeah, he, Vitro just got really good momentum there, and just a lot of like cr no crits. He got critical. He got a critical strike. He didn't that's, that's, touch that's the classic ground. Vitro. Like that's what makes Vitro, you know, such a strong player. Oh. Is that he's he's always willing to just just go for those. But uh, Dylan, Dylan up one game, 2-1. We're on Fountain though. A nice shuffleboard approach. I really like that. It's a you know, uh, hard uh, down tilt approaches. You know, shuffleboard where you just push them with down tilts to the edge. Classic. It's really strong against Falcon. Um, it's also really good against Sheik. Actually, I, I've always seen Mark players do that. I actually don't really know how to do it. Oh, uh, uh, running down tilts? Yeah. You um, you basically just hold, because when you hold down, like, as you enter a crouch, uh, that's, that's, uh, that cancels your dash. So it's, like, another way that you can stop dash. It's also how you can do, like, extended dashes and then do a dash dance break, um, is by utilizing the crouch. Dang, all right. I guess I, I still have some stuff to learn. <laughs> Quite a bit. Yeah, it's really good. So, like, if someone, you see someone just hard dashing, uh, from across the stage, uh, normally it's a telltale sign that they're just going to come in with a, a very, very straightforward shuffle, or they're going to come in with like a, a dash attack or a grab. Uh, but if they if they implement the uh, the crouch, uh, now they have a dash dance break uh, where you wouldn't expect it from conventional means. But that's assuming that you don't know that that's that's how it's done, you know? Because so you've tried dash dancing from a long dash before, right? You know, how you get the slow turnaround. Yeah. So. Oh, the fountain working against Vitro at one time. Gets a reverse knee. And will he get the edge guard this time? Oh, he gets it. That should do it. No, he's back. No. Should it's do it. <laughs> well, that was actually a perfect edge guard. One time. Huh, reverse up to cover the last one. That's pretty cool. Because uh, normally I think most people would just look to uh, forward smash, like follow, follow the tech roll and just forward smash whatever direction they went. But up tilt just kind of covered all the options. Including rolls to the left. Oh, yep. Get some with the Tezuka zone. But you end it with uh, forward smash. Ooh, power shield to four beats. And he gets him with another <laughs> the another all in. The Mewtwo King S edge guards. Wave dash off for there. Hope we run into this. Pretty, pretty fast game. Yeah, Fountain, Fountain working in Dylan's favor, or not Dylan, uh, Vitro's favor really well. So we're on FD, uh, also a double-edged uh, stage. Uh, what's good for Fountain, uh, for Falcon is that Marth um, doesn't have uh, platforms to help extend his combos, and uh, nothing to help break up Falcon combos. Like if a Falcon picks you up, then he kind of gets to keep you there and keep you uncomfortable. Um, but if Marth gets the right hit at the right height, then he gets to do really devastating uh, juggles as well. Oh, nice counter hit up, tilt, sends him off stage, and he's gonna just play the rinse and repeat game. Oh, nice back air. Though I don't think he needed up B. He could've just probably fell and grabbed the ledge. Oh, he had another chance, but he DI is in. Common mistake that a lot of Falcons do is DI in against the, uh, the fourth throw. Uh, when you do that, it opens up Martha so much. They get a lot of nasty combos. Uh, gets a knee to finish it. I thought he might opt for an up air because uh, it wasn't quite at the kill percent, but was able to hold the, the edge guard, which is all that he wants. All right, gets hit on the invincibility, but going for weird down air conversions, but didn't get punished. Oh, neutral air pickup. Neutral air and uh, barely misses his timing on the up air to dash. He definitely could have gotten that if he was just a little bit sharper, I think. And, but it's good good for him to recognize that uh, if he reached for that, he could have got reversed again, and that could have cost him. 
the set. And then once again, he gets caught slipping, trying to refresh invincibility. I, I've lost count how many times that has happened, but I'm pretty sure that has happened at least eight times today. <laughs> I think it would be better if he just, like, stopped getting on the ledge. Or, like, he, or he stopped trying to refresh and got on yeah, the Yeah, if, he, if he's going to have to refresh uh, when Martha's approaching from that distance, he should uh, kind of concede it at that point. Because it's better for him to just keep Martha cornered than it is to just give him a free stop. And now we have a counter hit. Counter. Oh, no. Oh, whew. Gets... It's a good hit. Oh, good trade. Good trade. And... Oh, oh there he goes. Spike. Good DI from Vitro on the down throw. This is where up throw ends up being really strong. Because he's only been doing down throw. And Vitro's... Oh, it's kind of another one, but this time... Oh, no, but he, do, he thought he was just going to grab ledge and uh, didn't react quickly enough once he saw that uh, he bypassed it. It's always the worst. You have to watch yourself slowly uh, fall down. Yeah. Uh, so what I was going to say was, oh, he gets the reverse. How lucky. <laughs> and I think that should do it because he lost his jump in there. Um, but what I was going to say is this is where uh, up throw ends up being really strong here because D uh, if he's going to try to DI down and away to avoid the uh, the down throw, the D, then up throw knee he ends up being that much stronger with that kind of DI. Um, it's effectively guaranteed. Ooh, he reached. Oh, no. And he caught him. And so Dylan takes it in the run back. Over, over Vitro, tight battle. Oh yeah, oh and you're in grand finals. I forgot you got to go play. Damn.